Hey guys, welcome to your sixth Visual Basic programming tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be learning more about math operators. Start Visual Basic console application, and let's name this VV Lesson 6. Hit enter. Alright, let's give ourselves some variables. Instead of us declaring them and then initializing them on different lines, we're going to do it all on one line to make things a little faster. So now we're going to say dem b as integer equals 10, dem p as integer equals 2, dem c as integer, and then dem d as string, single. We're going to say C equals A plus B, just for old time's sake. And then it's going to say console dot right line. Line 1. And it's going to say value of C is What's happening to the program now is we're taking a plus b, so it's going to be equal to 31. But now what we're going to do is we're going to take c and set it equal to a minus b. Now what's going to happen when we write it out to the window is it'll say something else because the variable's been called again. And what happens is it reruns with its new expression value of C is oh make sure that this is on its own not pressed up against alright now we're going to say D equals A divided by divided by B Control V to paste it. Control X to cut it if you need to do uh, to copy it. If you Control C to copy it again. We're gonna say C equals A. Make it a forward slash this time. B. Let's change these three and then four. Then we're going to say C A mod B, and what that means is modulus, and what modulus means is, is the remainder. So if we had 10 divided by uh, 2 divided by 10, I mean 10 divided by 2, then it would be 5. But if we had 2 divided by 9, we'd have 4.5. That 0.5 would show up as modulus because the modulus is just capturing the remainder. So we're saying A mod B. A modulus B, so returning the value of A divided by 10, so we're going to get 0.1. And now we're going to say C equals B upper sign P. And then we're going to give ourselves the console.write line again. Changes to a 5. We're also going to do multiplication. C equals a times b then give our value again makes four five six and seven let's run our code See what we forgot, guys? We forgot to do console dot right line. Press any key to continue. And console dot read line. 
press the green go button. Make sure you have a C on the ends of these. And now we actually have the values instead of just those uh, weird brackets. In the next tutorial, we're going to begin picking up and we're actually going to begin learning about if statements and how to use them with programs to manipulate data. Alright, see you then.